Okay, welcome to cardesign.academy, and this is the first uh, live demo of 2021. Uh, actually, not live, we're recording this, but um, what I'm going to be showing you today is just a quick demo on how to define a, a wheel and tire size based on the, a published set of tire dimensions. Uh, so I'm in Alias. Uh, you could be doing this in Fusion 360, Rhino, uh, whatever, but you, you need to be able to en uh, enter alpha numeric dimensions. So well, I'll explain that in a few minutes. So um, I put together a spreadsheet with some uh, established dimensions of some vehicles that I want to build uh, that I want to build uh, models of. So I have uh, three vehicles that I want to do this in this course, uh, a, a pickup truck, a crossover, and a Corvette. Um, these are all published dimensions that I found on the web. Um, I like to work in millimeters. You should get used to working in millimeters uh, in the car industry. So every, everything has been converted to millimeters. Um, and uh, what I wanted to do just really quickly is just explain um, how to decipher the dimensions of a tire size. So as you can see, the first vehicle there is the truck, the pickup truck. These are, this is actually the Ford Raptor tires. Um, you can see it's a 315 slash 70 slash R17. Um, what that means is the, the, the first number is the width of the tire, 315. So that means the tire from sidewall to sidewall is 315 millimeters wide. Uh, 70 is a percentage of the width in a sidewall. So the sidewall height is 70% of 315. Uh, and then R17 is the diameter of the rim. Now, the, 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 the diameter of the rim is actually measured at the bead of the tire. So um, in, most, in most rims, um, the, you know, the, the actual lip of the rim overlaps the tire by about half an inch. So the actual, uh, when you add that to a full diameter, the actual diameter of the rim will, if you hold a ruler up to it, will actually be about an inch and a half bigger than the published dimension. So if it's a 17 inch wheel, you, it'll measure 18 and a half inches. If it's a 20 inch wheel, it'll measure 21 and a half inches. So that's something that you need to keep in mind. The rim that you see is actually going to be about an inch and a half bigger because it overlaps the, the, the bead of the tire. So. Um, you know, the second wheel is the Velar wheel. It's a 265 uh, slash 40 slash R22. It's a 22 inch wheel with a 265 tire. Um, so a, as you can see, as the, as the middle number goes down, that, that means the, the sidewall is, is getting slimmer and slimmer as a percentage of the, uh, as a percentage of the, the, the tread width. So uh, for the truck tire, you can see the num that, that sidewall dimension is very high. It's, a, it's, uh, it's uh, the 70, it's a very high number. And that means that there's a lot of sidewall in that tire for off-road use. Uh, as you get down towards a something like a Corvette, um, uh, which is a very high performance tire, you're gonna have a very, very slim sidewall uh, height relative to the tread width. So, um, and so the rim tends to take up a bigger proportion of the, of the, uh, of the tire. So how does that translate into uh, some dimensions? So you can see what I did was I, I did a little bit of math. Um, what I actually, uh, the first thing that I like to do is calculate the diameter of the overall tire, the, the tire OD, tire diameter. Um, there's a, there's a, there are uh, computers, uh, there's websites online where you can calculate all of that. So um, if I go to, uh, there's a website I like called uh, robrobinette.com tire diameter calculator. Um, so you can, you can very, very quickly uh, punch in these dimensions. So, so for example, for the, um, for the truck tire, 315, 70, R17. Um, going back to the website, I'm just going to go in and, and do 315, uh, 70, R17, and then I hit calculate, and that tells me that that tire is going to have a, an overall height of 34.36 inches. Um, now, if you want to convert that to millimeters, um, there's 25.4 millimeters to an inch. That's something that um, that you need to know. So uh, one inch equals 25, 25.4 millimeters. So, so we're going to take that, um, that number, uh, which, um, we're going to take that 34.36, uh, inches and, uh, we're going to convert that to, to millimeters. So, Hey Google, what is 30 point point, 
uh, 3.6 times 25.4. Let me try that again. Hey Google, what is 34.36 times 25.4? Okay, so the answer is 872.744. So I just rounded that up to uh, uh, 873. Um, actually, I must have calculated that differently. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go with the bigger number here. So, so getting that tire OD is very important. As you can see, the Corvette's gonna have a different size front and rear. Um, the, uh, the truck and the crossover have the same size on all four tires. So uh, the rim OD, I, again, I've added that inch and a half and I've, and I've calculated, um, uh, calculated that in millimeters. And then I just have the overall length, width and height um, and wheelbase of, of uh, each of these vehicles, which I'm gonna use to set up uh, dimensions later. So, um, so we're gonna go into Alias now and build uh, uh, a, a quick representation of that correct size tire. So, um, so I'm going to go into the left uh, window here, and uh, I'm going to do. I'm going to create a. Uh, I'm going to create a, a series of circles um, using the curves tool. I'm going to. I'm going to uh, align that to center. Okay, and then I'm gonna just scale that um, and just type 886. Okay, so that's a 886 millimeter tire, uh, I'm sorry, 886 millimeter tire OD. Okay, so the, ne the, the next number is um, the tire width, that's 315. Um, and, but let's, let's, let's hit the rim size first, so 597, that's a 22. I'm gonna put a 22 inch wheel in there instead of a 17 inch wheel. Um, so that's the other thing. If you have a if you have a vehicle that that is offered in multiple wheel sizes, so you have you know, like your base model with a 17 inch wheel and your sport model with a 20 20 inch wheel, they try to generally keep the overall diameter of the tire the same um, as they as they switch out the tire sizes. So uh, that's very very important. So um, so anyway, uh, I'm just going to assume that we have a tire size that's equivalent in terms of overall diameter with a 22 inch wheel, which is a uh, 597 millimeters uh, diameter. So I'm gonna I'm gonna duplicate this object, duplicate this circle, and I'm gonna rescale it as a 597. So that, that just shows you what that looks like. So you can see it's still a pretty meaty sidewall. It's a 22 inch wheel uh, in there. So and then um, then I'm gonna go into perspective here and. Give it that give it that overall tire width so i'm gonna um uh this time i'm gonna duplicate it again but i'm gonna move it uh yeah, i'm gonna move it by 315 millimeters so uh in the y-axis so 315. okay so now i have my sort of correct dimensions for the truck tire Okay, um, so what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna use this, the skin surface uh, tool. And I'm just, gonna, uh, I'm just gonna start skinning this up. And we'll, we'll, we'll go in and add some, some, some tire section to that later. So if I shade that up, you got, you got, this is, this is the donut that I have. Okay. So, um, go ahead and save that as, um, tire sizes. Okay. And I'm gonna I'm gonna add a new layer, and I'm just gonna call this truck tire. Okay, and then I'm gonna uh, assign everything to that layer. And we'll, we'll just do this exercise again um, with the other with the other rim size. Okay, so we're gonna go back to our left side view. So 
So the next vehicle is our crossover uh, with, with the Sport 22 inch wheels. Um, this has a, a tire diameter of 770. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, punch in a circle that's uh, 770. And this also has a 22 inch wheel. So um, that was 597 again. So we're gonna duplicate this. And scale it to 597. And you can see it's a much slimmer tire relative to the wheel diameter. So the overall diameter of the wheels is smaller, the tire is smaller and the sidewall is much slimmer because this is a higher performance tire. This is a like a high performance crossover. Um, okay, uh, I made a mistake there because I had, I had uh, when I duplicated, I still had the translate turn on. So um, let's, uh, let's turn this back to zero and scale it down to 597. And then we'll take those both together And, uh, and translate that. Let's see, what's the width of that tire? Uh, 265, so it's not quite as wide as the other one. So we're gonna do that uh, 265, okay? Then we'll go ahead and skin that. Okay, so you can see, um, so I'm gonna assign all of this to this layer, and we're gonna call this layer CUV tire. So if I, if I switch back and forth between the CUV and the truck tire, you see the rim size is the same, but the sidewall profile is quite different. Okay. Okay, and then next up we have the uh, the front tire of the Corvette. So going back to my dimensional chart here. Um, okay, the front tire diameter is 693 and the rear tire is 729. So, uh, and they have different wheel sizes as well. So I'm going to scale that to 693. And then the rim size is um, 546. This is a, a 20 inch wheel, not a 22. So I'm gonna duplicate that again, just hit that zero. Okay, and what was that again? That was uh, 546. Okay, still a very slim sidewall. And that was a, uh, I think that was also a 265. Yes. 265. Okay, surfaces, I'm gonna skin that. So that's the vet front. And we're gonna assign that to the layer. Okay, and then vet rear. All right, so I'm gonna turn that off again. Going back to our chart here. 
Our tire OD is now 729. Seven two nine and our rim size is uh, five seventy two, so it goes from five forty six to five seventy two. That's a twenty one inch wheel. Then I'm going to duplicate that. The, the, this, this tire is quite wide. This is the rear tire. And it's a 325. That's the widest tire. It's even wider than the truck tire. So I'm going to duplicate that and translate it 325. Okay. Going to skin that. As you can see, the, the ratio of the rim size to the sidewall size, they've chosen that very carefully to maintain a, a very similar proportion. Okay, so I'm gonna assign that and I'm gonna turn off the layer. So now if I click back and forth between the front and, the, and the, the rear. So this is the front tire, the rear tire. You can see they've done a very good job of maintaining the proportional relationship between the rim diameter and the tire overall diameter and the sidewall thickness. And then compare that to the CUV tire, which is actually quite similar as well. You can see it's, it's a little bit narrower and taller. And then the truck tire, which is just you know, big and beefy. So, um, so anyway, that just gives you some a quick idea of how to uh, define a, a rim and tire size based on published dimensions. So um, in the next video, I'm gonna show you just how to section off these wheels and tires, or these, these, these tires, and then ultimately set them up to put into, uh, with the correct wheel base and track and all that to bring into a, a, uh, uh, a gravity sketch model. So, um, Anyway, uh, thanks for joining me and I'll catch you on the next uh, episode.